Oh, yeah. I know, but Gino, we've actually looked at thousands of charts together. We've looked at a lot. I just always assume Gino knows what I'm talking to. Him. Before the before the last Pinterest earnings, I sent Gino a message in Discord. I was like, hey, what do you think about this condor? And I didn't even put in the symbol. <laughs> it's like, well, he should know. He should know who I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, pins, of course. You know, so we, we scan, Frank and I and the coaches scan for thousands of stocks every week and bring you a great report on the weekend called the Stock and Options Report. So on Friday, Frank and I, we stormies and i just realized we've never done it live frank we've never done it live on yeah, youtube yeah never done it live How in we, person so you want me to kick off a couple of questions yeah there? yeah yeah let's 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 kick off so i'll, I'll let you go first so well, uh, floor is yours discretionary is the hot sector today right yeah. discretionary is one of the leading sectors it's kind of overextended let me clean up my chart here my goodness here some, some tesla so, in there adding to that right yeah tesla added a lot of that and i was like you know um, I was looking at that and I'm thinking, looking pretty strong. And then I went over and I was looking at the BPI because, you know, on Friday we get ready for sectors. And I'm like, where's the sector strength? And I'm down here. Look, I probably should update this. It's been an hour. So I'm going to update this BPI. And, you know, I like to look at sector strength like everybody else. And I was looking for like, what sector are we going to favor going into next week? Um Here's the, the strongest sectors right here, infotech, discretionary, again. Industrials is our favorite one going into this week, right? But discretionary, 6%, almost 6%, oh, excuse me, 10% of the sectors went bullish today, 10% of the stocks. That's 10% went into a bullish buy signal. That means that new high, higher high, higher low. That's the most, next to Infotech, that's the most up. I'm like, wait a minute, it's not just Tesla. There's some companies in there, right? So I dug into some discretionary type companies. Two that I like, just to break it down. I want to get your take on this and see if you have a better. I always get Kohl's, or this one right here. Is this, um, let me see my one-year date. Is this a worthy trend reversal? Because the, the, you know, the discretionary is turning around. Would you say this is too early to enter this? Is it coming off the bottom? Should I take a risk and find the bottom? You know, I like this candle. I like what I'm seeing here. You, yeah, you got to like it on the on the daily chart. I think yeah, uh, I think uh, you you can at least build something around with this consolidation throughout much of, of this week. At on that the weekly on the resistance yeah. level on the weekly, that's where it'll always get interesting for me to see what kind of a pocket that we're working with. And it looks like we got a pretty good pocket, you know, yeah. into, into that 20 uh, weekly that puts us somewhere in 2450 uh, ballpark. So I think there is a window that we can can work. Uh, I do think you kind of discount have to discount the high water mark from the four, uh, the twenty fourth of May, yeah. which makes sense. That was earnings, the body, of, you know, where we ended up, uh, the body of it lining up with these, you know, last couple of days. I think yeah. that paints that picture. I think so, you could at least think about it. You know, I okay. don't think it would win cheap. It's a stock type trade. I can sell calls against. You can it. sell some calls against it. You can can sell some calls against it. I don't think your risk to reward is great it, it's no. definitely two to one you know type of trade i think you can build around it but i don't think you are going to be getting into that three to one because i do think you know as you get into that 24 50 range you've got resistance you've got the 20 weekly you mm -hmm. got to respect that right as, as a resistance level uh so i think this is kind of one of those if i like the name i think the technicals can can back it up but yeah, i do I, think i know I, I think i know who you're going with next and i think I, i'm going to say i prefer them Okay, and the only reason is, it's like, I'm only would consider this coming off the bottom, little double top cup and handle type thing is because the sector looks so strong. Sure. You know, yeah. and, and then yeah. the other one was uh, TJ Maxx, TJX. I thought this was where you were going, and uh, I'm going to prefer this one. Uh, I thought you would. Okay, and because this is a major resistance here, looking at the camera, I'm not getting the volume I want today, though. You know what I mean? Like this I would like to get a you would like to get a little spike, but we haven't broken out, right? So there's so there's there's that. Maybe you know the you know who wants to buy right here, right? You right, know, right, right. You know, not you, not me. No one's buying right at resistance. So kind of makes some sense. Would like to see it pick up, especially if we do break through that resistance level, right? That would be a, a good sign. But you're right. I mean, that eighty dollar resistance zone 
is yeah, just what's going on here. Is that like sometimes I'm wondering, is there some kind of like buyout or negotiation going here we don't know about? You know, when I start seeing this, and it just has a hard time getting over that. You know, if you go to a weekly, oh yeah, it, it's you it's know, just, you, things, it's, things can get stuck in ranges for a long time, right? I know. Uh, and the and IV is just too cheap to really sell calls. So and not a lot of not a lot of selling. I do think that one. It's at one. Only one time has it been cheaper this year. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so makes, it's like makes you want sense with where it is. This right. So it's low risk. Um, I yeah. I, so stay with the trend if you're going to go with that. Um, do you have a better discretionary while I'm here or no? I, know, I like your. I do like your your TJ Max here. Uh, on my discretionary, uh, one thing that I was looking at was uh, Expedia, EXPE. Uh, these guys had a, a big breakout of a range, much like oh, TJ yeah. TJ Maxx. Yeah. A big breakout, snapback, like confirmation that. candle, right? Room That's to a breakout. Go. So, yeah, that boy, that was a breakout. And you love the increasing volume as that breakout occurred, right? So again, when we're kind of the top of the range, you love to see volume pick up before it breaks, right? Because that shows yep. people are accumulating before, but you really, really need to see the the participation pick up once it happens. Okay, now that we broke this resistance, it makes sense, at least to me, if no one buys at resistance and there's low volume, it makes sense in my brain. I, yeah. I wouldn't buy there, but on the breakout, you do want to see that increasing volume. You've seen that. You saw the decreasing volume on the selling days, got a little upward movement. You don't really have a lot of resistance until you get into, you know, 121, 122 ballpark. So you have a, you know, pretty good risk to reward structure on, yep. uh, on something uh, like this, depending on how you want to go. And it's still, you know, it's still relatively early, you know, it's a little bit ahead of Kohl's, yeah. but it's still relatively early in, in the, the coming off the bottoms too. Right. I mean, this is just kind of one of those kind of really the first chance post breakout. I like that. that That's a really solid have. base. That's a solid base right there. Broke above the moving averages. And look at that. The first pullback, you know, this is what stops everybody out of the swing trade. Yeah. First Here's the trend trader is... stepping back in. I mean, it's like, they're not letting it go down to the nine. You know what I mean? Yeah, they don't. Yeah, they're there. Yeah, it's, it's tough. So, you know, this is, this is one I, I, I think is interesting. If, if you, you know, want something that's got the momentum uh, already in place. Uh, so I probably would prefer that one, but I do like TJ Maxx and I don't hate Coles. I just, I would be more interested in, you know, playing the uh, a snapback on a and f if, if i were to get it right or something right. like that that's kind of already established that momentum but i think you know if if coles is a name i'm looking to add if if, if that name you know stands out in the in the crowd and, and coles is a good company so i can understand if it if it did that would play a part too right, right. Uh, that would absolutely play a part in that decision right okay yeah that, okay cool so then i had two shorts in that same industry okay. all right so let's let's look at a couple of bears all right target now i don't know if i want to go bearish and discretionary if that sector is doing good but when you look at target you know targets how are you doing so bad when the how rest you, of how is that how is that and you look at the weekly here it's like really target now is this due to some political things you know what's going on there there's some news but that's a breakdown yeah, that's a breakdown no matter what, right? And is, is there any more room on this one? Is there any more room on that one? I mean, are we too late? Would you play that? I don't necessarily think we're, we're too late. Or, so, or so let me give you the or. Okay. Or it's hard to short this one. Nike. Ooh, I, I, I saw Eric Jordan on the, on the uh, what was it, Netflix? Yeah, the, uh, the, the Netflix show. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to see that yet, but... Uh, Listen, well, we grew up with Jordan. My thirties. Right? You know why it's short? You know why this happened? Because ever since that came out, this they started nosediving, right? Um, is because everybody's like, "Wait a minute, Jordan didn't like Nike." Oh shoot, <laughs> why am I buying the stock? You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know listen, that, that holds more weight if it's Shaq. You know, I take most of my cues in in life from what would Shaquille O'Neal do. Uh, <laughs> you know, my uh, my my hero uh, growing up, grow one of my heroes growing up. Uh, so, and he was never a, a Nike guy, you know, of the two, I prefer the target chart, you know, target does not have a lot. I mean, we've kind of given out everything. Uh, I don't really think that this is, you know, too late, you know, in, in quotation marks, 
broke down. We're really only that one weekly candle into the breakdown, yeah. right? Uh, as as of right now, heck, only probably the most aggressive have have kind of got in because I think your actual entry is below the low point from from last uh, last Thursday, yeah, from the first. So I don't think you consolidated. You broke. You're consolidating, or you you followed through. I should say you broke down. You're consolidating. As long as that nine keeps falling down, looking to apply pressure. I think this can absolutely stay on on a bearish watch list. This okay. they don't really have a lot. I mean, they really don't have a lot of support in the near future. When I look at this guy on a weekly, uh, it's just not a lot. When I look at it, you know the you know, they're taking out the the last big you know weekly or monthly pivot on this breakdown and getting that follow through would uh, at least to my eyes confirm it not really any support. Uh, and so it feels like it's almost just one of those scenarios where you got a big window, right? I don't right. know where the bottom forms here, but I do have a big window. I, I think this one can, can go uh, on. Uh, I got them on my bearish watch list uh, as well uh, yeah. for, for that secondary pattern. Can you break it, consolidation. It's amazing. That's a big drop, man. We're talking from 180 down to 130. And you know, this is in a lot of mutual funds portfolios. This is a huge company right? This is a big, big discretionary player. And with that big drop, the IV on this, options are cheap. It's like, what? Usually the yeah. options are expensive when this happens. Yeah. With, with that big of a drop, you would have not expected cheap options. So, right? you know, your put spreads are still cheap on this. You still do some out of the money put spreads that are dirt cheap and the five to one. I know. love that. I love that for this type of a scenario Yeah, right? where you're real extended. You can get a little out of the money. Maybe this run just continues. Yeah. It's cheap if it doesn't. It's big upside if it does. I think that's a really smart way to uh, to play that. I like that one, uh, Gino. I've also got one okay. uh, one bear in the uh, in that space, and that's VFC. 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 More traditional retracement type of uh, type oh, of analysis. I love this setup. Where you kind of back into that old resistance or the love old support this. level, right? A little bit of downward movement. Yeah. Um, not going to be able to get nearly as creative as you can with the target from an options perspective. Uh, oh my but God. you know what? This is I, I I could use this example in something I was teaching the other day. This just triggered a swing high. Yep, that swing high was triggered by a dividend payment. So we knew it was going to drop thirty cents, right? And it dropped it below yesterday's candle, which the dividend triggered a swing high. Now nowadays brokers will move your stop down buy 30 cents knowing that's coming up <laughs> so oh, nice. yeah, there you go. yeah but yeah interesting interesting so i, I like it i like yeah, it yeah i think you know if you, you I, yeah i think both make sense and, and there's not a ton of great bearish setups out there in my opinion right now no. but there are a few more than i think we were seeing last week you know so I what's, think the, I, what's the plan is just short the stock i think this is the stock play yeah options aren't super on this uh, if you're going to do anything you probably are are going to just have to one leg it right like buy a put uh, I think this is probably an easier thing just to play with on the uh, on the short side. Uh, so breakdown, I like the consolidation breakdown uh, in uh, in target. Uh, I think uh, an out of the money debt spread makes a lot of sense from a risk reward profile, and it, it's one of those. Is it in free fall mode? If so, that out of the money you know bear put can get real interesting pretty quick, right? Uh, yep. And, and one uh, once again, it's not even though the second biggest best best bullish sector is discretionary. Target saying I don't care something's wrong here. <laughs> yeah. And that's a big break. I mean, that's a big technical breakdown. Right. Yeah. And, and so that's uh now I, I feel dirty, you know, because we just talked about the bears and I think it's important to have some bearish things in your watch list going into, into next week. And I think there are a handful of interesting, uh, interesting candidates, but we're going to the third round here, my friend, which means uh, we've looked at some bulls, yep. we looked at some bears, uh, got to finish up. With the with the the rapid fire bull side of things, so uh, outside of discretionary, any other stocks you know catch your eye from a from a yes. bull? Who's on the short list for you on the bulls going into to next week? Well, on on technology, you've got to address technology and communication real quickly. I like a mat. I like a mat coming up here. It was looking better at the open, but we have 
you know, a little double Great top. Jump. This thing just keeps ramping up, right? Yeah, it's a monster. Yeah, and I like lamb research. Uh, looking at lamb like, research. Yeah, I really like lamb research. The only thing I don't like about lamb research is their options. <laughs> so, <laughs> so because their options are not super friendly and I their know. price tag is high, That's hey, there's nothing wrong with you know. I say this all the time, and I I mean it. You know, picking up a, a handful of shares that fit into the mm -hmm. profile, but you would love to be able to see a split i'd love to see a split yeah, on these I, guys are doing honestly. wonders for the options and if, if nothing else probably uh but i do like the uh the chart there i like the amat uh breakout candidate as uh as well uh, i think that uh, is a very interesting uh look uh for amat great company right and, and these guys are kind of in that you know fill up that zone right yep. you know kind of like gm they're kind of working to that next level. And for them, at least in my opinion, is right around 144, 145. Big, you know, sideways channel there, you know, back in, in 20, uh, 2021, you know, a lot of resistance, big breakout, acted as support. So it feels like these guys are just working the, work in the steps. I think that is a, a really good find. You know, another, you know, kind uh -huh. of a breakout type of, or a, another uh, tech stock, I'm sorry, that kind of caught my eye, Gino, was this snapback on C O U R. Uh, certainly not the name that AMAD is, uh, <laughs> but uh, but uh, uh, Corsea here, big you know movement, kind of broke yeah. out, kind of look you know, kind of looks like the Coles chart in a way for about a month ago, right? Where it was kind of into that resistance coming off of those lows. We snap back into that old resistance channel, uh, into that twenty period moving average. Just saw a little upward movement, uh, but I do. I do like that. I think Meta is also an interesting oh, one Meta, we in, were looking in that at, yeah. area. Um, Meta's yeah. rewarded people who have played, you know, any dips on it. Right? Mark and I were looking at this, talking about this, like, hmm, Meta's interesting. Uh, listen, if nothing else, you know, uh, I, I, I keep Meta on the uh, on the bull put watch list uh, because yeah. it's one of those stocks that as long as it lives above the nine weekly, you know, I think you are you oh, know, comfortable. Check out the week. So yeah, the weekly I mean, is what beautiful. you got to look at because look, it's got a ways to go. It's got a ways to go. But anytime we see any dips on on Meta and yep. and foolishly, I mean, I wish I was playing it, you know, more aggressively, of course. But kind of my philosophy because it's been a grinder, right? It's been so well behaved, but it's been real grindy, and it's not given us a, a ton of those textbook, you know, at least to my eyes, entry points. But what's really been nice with it is selling bull puts when you get any little dips right yes, yes i should have been just buying or buying calls i i, I completely will give you that <laughs> so uh because it's been such a juggernaut but you know it's, i won't you know complain too much being able to get some some credits uh, on this so i do think you are open to this pullback uh, on it i think you could make the, the the argument when you look at that daily chart that we've got enough uh you know to 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 go uh, to be honest with you, you know, we came down, we saw some, some a low yesterday. Looks like today we're going to put in a higher low. So, you know, a trigger above today's high, I would get it. A break above the, the recent high, I would get it. Uh, pullbacks in towards that 20 have been pretty profitable on Meta. I think you have to at least be open to the uh, idea. You don't necessarily have to do anything, but, you know, I think the chart tells you, you know, be be open to it because it's been, uh, very, very productive. And it's just kind of marching up, right? Yeah. Again, it's one of those, you know, these guys are well off their highs, you know, just shy of 400. And just continuing that that march to the upside, it feels to me, you know, and we've said this a lot in, in you know different places, but it just feels to me like the march to 300 on meta is just still in play, right? It's just right. How does it get there? What exactly does it look like? There is I look at the yeah. different time frames, and there's just not a lot there. So it just feels like marching up into that 300 to me seems like where it kind of wants to to go. And, and what a move! I mean, if you look at this, I'm going to win your daily. If oh, yeah. you look at this move, it's gone from down here, you know, below 100, up to almost 280. That's a hundred. That's 212 percent. 212 percent since October. That that's crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's and been a good it, run. <laughs> every pullback's been bought. Every pullback. So you bet on support and pullbacks until it doesn't. Exactly. That's just what you do. Exactly. And it's really treated. Look at this channel that this, this moving average has put in. Look at that. It's so parallel. 
it's been impressive. It's been it's been one of those weird ones for me where yeah. it's it just keeps grinding, right? Yeah, and, yeah, and I yeah. believe that it's going to keep grinding, but you Until just, I buy it and boom, it stops. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. That's how it goes. <laughs> uh, but it just you know, there's just you know not been a lot of great uh -huh. entries. You've had to kind of get in on the pullbacks and and show that faith because of the grindy nature, right? Of the uh, of the stock. Uh, so uh, definitely one I think you keep on the on the radar. I imagine we'll probably be discussing that uh, pullback uh, going into to next week. Uh, that was probably of the Mag Seven, right? The uh -huh. uh, the the bigs. Uh, that one felt super, uh, you know, super actionable uh, to uh, to me. Uh, I still think you're very interested in Apple. We put in a new all time high. Oh yeah, you know, uh, you know oh, the uh, little yeah. bit ago. Uh, so. Anytime you do that, you got to be feeling pretty good about. We talked Tesla, great place to to be as of late, but you, you probably need to already uh, be there. Uh, you know, uh, Google gave up a little bo a bit of momentum, but fighting for uh, the buyers at that twenty uh, SMA you know, still consolidation you know, in Nvidia you know, too. You know, uh, this one here is very interesting. I mean, Google finally broke out. Look at this, trying to put in a swing low going into today. You know, this is one of those, again, options are dirt cheap. It's like, I'm waiting for a trigger to tell me to put on the bull call because I do see slowing momentum here. I there's do. A little see, bit. There's just a little bit, right? Yeah. So you got this big breakout and then you got this, you know, this is, it's kind of like, yeah, I'd like to see this flag pattern and then break out. But yeah, I, I, I could see that. I, I could, I could right see here, that. Um, that was a big red candle because the, you know we did have that big red candle on Microsoft that looks Microsoft looked very similar. Yeah. Uh, look at that. Microsoft, same thing. See it? Big red candle, little candle, tried to trigger. Yeah. Google, so same thing. Support came into that little, little big support red candle, level. Set up, tried to trigger. Same chart, right? I mean, very, very close. Very, yeah. very, very, very close. Uh, what yeah. about last one in the uh, in the Mag Seven Nvidia? Oh, uh, so they God. had their big I'll gap. They've Nvidia. been consolidating, right? They're still in the, kind of that consolidation wow. type of a type of a pattern, uh, mm. and and so what what's interesting to me on this one, Gino, is the weekly chart. Uh, we because we've had a couple of weeks post that big move now, oh, right? Yeah. We're actually starting to see maybe that little bit of developing flag right so taking out this week's high whether it's a trade or not i don't know but i'm going to take that as a po as positive development right yeah. cuz it just might not i'm not going to be surprised if nvidia is not willing to pull back if it's got more run in it right, that right. is right i mean it's had you know several weeks to do that uh, and it hasn't right uh, you know maybe uh, maybe it will but i think that weekly chart is is an interesting one uh, as well so, you know, overall, you know, a little bit of maybe slowing momentum in, in Google, but you just hit an all-time high on Apple, you know, a few days back. Microsoft, Google both fighting at the 20, Tesla's on, on fire. So when you look at the the big seven, the Magnificent Seven, and I understand why Maddie went Mag Seven, because saying Magnificent a whole bunch of times is not fun to me uh, or, or him. Uh, Mag Seven, uh, I think that was a good call. But I think they're still in overall interesting places. Not a lot of super, you know, actionable Monday morning entries. Although, you know, I, I do think you can make a case for Meta, uh, even Google and Microsoft coming in off of those highs of those or those lows off of that twenty SMA. So, still an interesting place to uh, to be going into next yeah. week. I think. So your favorite, your favorite. I'm I'm actually liking Nvidia over four hundred. I I, I I do I yeah I kind of am, am there you know I, I kind of um, like it over today's high. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming the like, weekly is going to look pretty close by the end of the day. I do like the TJX, and I got to be honest with you, I'm going to favor the bull picks this week. How about you? Yeah, I, I still think you're you're favoring the bull. I think you're getting some bears on the radar. So yeah. if you do, you, you know, it's just good practice, right? But I do think uh, I will be favoring the bulls as uh as well going into into next week uh yeah. and uh it's gonna be fun it was fun talking through this stuff with you gino yeah, yeah like gino said we talked to after, after in about a half oh, an yeah, hour you and i are gonna get together and put we're together done. yeah we're 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 just getting the, the party started but hopefully that gives uh everybody uh kind of a little glimpse into 
uh, you know, how, you know, the, the, the meeting goes, right. They, they see it all the time with Matt and I, uh, it's always pro it's probably fun. I imagine to see, you know, when, when you join us, you know, or Tyler Hi. to kind of, you know, see what, uh, where the conversation goes. Appreciate it. My friend. We uh, got plenty of trades. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. There's, there's going to be some, some options going. You know, into I think I heard week. Mark's computer put a naked put on every single one of those that we did. <laughs> no credit on naked puts right now. <laughs> I know you can't get nothing. As you noticed, every chart I've gone through Mark, IV ranks like one or zero here. Yeah. It's, zero. it's, it's, the, it's been so long. I have learned over the years with naked puts that when IV gets this low, you stay you, away. You stay away. Mm -hmm. I mean, you do a few here and there, right? You do right. a few here and there, but it is, don't worry. Go do a few more directional trades, but don't try to pick up pennies when IV is that Except low.